Once upon a time, at a distant monastery, there was a great monk who, on his deathbed, shared enigmatic wisdom with his young successor. With a weak but clear voice, he said, Remember one thing, never allow a cat into your life. After uttering these words, the monk departed from this world. The crowd that had gathered around expected to hear words of deep spiritual enlightenment. The surprise was palpable when the master's last words reverberated through the air. The successor, a young monk full of vigor and dedication, was particularly perplexed. Why would my master so wise warn me about something as trivial as a cat? He thought, nevertheless, with reverence and respect, they performed the funeral ceremonies while the young monk deeply reflected on his master's final advice. In the monastery, there also lived an older monk who had witnessed decades of wisdom and changes. This monk, who had served the master for years on end, approached the successor, noticing his restlessness. Why the concern, young friend? asked the elderly monk. The young monk shared his doubts, and the elder, with an understanding smile, decided to reveal the story behind the master's words. My young friend, there is a long history behind that simple warning. Our master, before becoming a monk, had an ordinary life, a family, children, a home. But one day, he chose to renounce all that and withdrew to the forest in search of enlightenment. In his solitary journey, he settled near a village, living off alms and the kindness of villagers. Recognizing his sanctity, the villagers built him a bamboo hut. All he owned were two simple robes. However, a challenge arose. Rats began to infest the hut, threatening his only possessions. Consulting the villagers, they suggested that a cat would solve the rat problem. It seemed like a simple and effective solution, and the master accepted. Soon, the cat became part of his life. However, the cat needed to be fed, and thus, the master needed milk. This led him to depend even more on the villagers, not only for his own sustenance, but also for the cats. The villagers then proposed a more self-sufficient solution, a cow. The master, thinking practically. Now, with enough milk for himself and the cat, he seemed to have solved two problems. But with the cow came the need for more care, more dependency. The situation became even more complicated when the villagers suggested that a widow from the village could help take care of the cow and the patients. The woman, lonely and destitute, readily accepted the task. Together, they began to take care of the animals and the small cultivation around the hut. Over time, the proximity and sharing of responsibilities brought them closer, and an unexpected love was born. This connection led to even greater consequences. The woman became pregnant, and they found themselves again entangled in the responsibilities and attachments of the material world. But the master, upon reflection, realized that in trying to avoid a small problem, he had inadvertently rebuilt the entire life he had renounced. It all began with a simple decision to welcome a thus my young friend. The elderly monk concluded, When our master spoke of not allowing a cat into your life, he was referring to the importance of being mindful of the small decisions we make. It's these choices, often insignificant, that can divert us from the path we choose to follow. Within our lives, we often allow ourselves small deviations thinking they are harmless. But it's important to be mindful, as these deviations can gradually let us down paths we never intended to follow. We may start with a small concession. But that can lead us to larger compromises until one day we wake up and realize we are living a life completely different from what we had planned. Therefore, always be vigilant with the small choices you make. Do not underestimate their impact. Stay true to your purpose and do not allow minor distractions to divert you from your true path. It's crucial to understand, he continued, that life, at its core, is a series of choices and consequences. Each decision, no matter how small, charts a path, weaves a destiny. When the master welcomed the cat, he opened the door to a chain of events that gradually led him away from his original quest. This is a powerful reminder for all of us to always be mindful of our choices, however insignificant they may seem. You must ask yourself, what kind of life do I want to build? What kind of legacy do I want to leave? 
Remember, every action, every thought, every word has the power to shape your destiny. It's not just about avoiding metaphorical cats, but recognizing how small indulgences can divert us from our true goals. Consider, for example, the power of discipline. Often, in the pursuit of immediate comfort, we neglect our long-term goals. Each time we give in to a temptation, whether it's a physical indulgence or a mental detour, we stray a bit further from the path we set out to follow. It's as if each small concession adds a link to the chain that binds us to the cycle of samsara, the material world of birth and rebirth of suffering and illusion. But do not despair. Every moment is a new opportunity to choose wisely. Every breath is an invitation to return to the path. The spiritual trail is not linear. It is full of ups and downs, twists and turns, revelations. The important thing is to maintain clear consciousness and intention. No matter how many times you stumble, what matters is how many times you are willing to get up and continue. Moreover, the Master story teaches us about the interconnectedness of all things. A simple decision to keep a cat led to a series of interconnected events, each impacting the other. So as well, our actions, as isolated as they may seem, have effects that reverberate through time and space, affecting not only ourselves but also those around us and even the world at large. Now, as you assume your role of leadership over your life, I invite you to reflect on these lessons. Think about how your actions and decisions can influence not just your own spiritual journey, but also that of those around you. Your responsibilities are magnified and your vigilance must be even greater. Be a beacon of light, an example of integrity and truth. Remember that the spiritual quest is, at its heart, an inward journey. It invites us to look within, to explore the depths of our own soul. Seeking enlightenment is not just a process of renouncing the external world, but also of understanding and transcending internal desires and attachments. It's an invitation to cultivate inner peace, silence, and serenity. Each choice we make, each path we follow, has the potential to shape us, to transform us. With this awareness, begin to truly understand the weight of the responsibility you now carry. In inner stillness, meditate on the impermanent nature of Lala's transient. The joys, the sorrows, the gains, the losses, everything passes. Why then allow trivial worries and desires to govern our actions and thoughts? Begin to implement changes in your life, inspiring others to live with greater awareness and simplicity. Every moment is an opportunity to practice mindfulness. Whether walking, eating, or meditating, be fully present. When you are fully present, the distractions of the external world lose their power over you. See, he said, how quick we are to complicate our lives. We start with simple desires, but soon find ourselves entangled in a web of complications like the master with his cat. We allow small things to grow until they dominate our lives. We must learn to recognize and let go of these attachments before they grow too large. In your moments of stillness, reflect on the entire journey you've already traveled. Recognize that each challenge was an opportunity to deepen your understanding and strengthen your character. Just as the seasons change, he said, we too must be open to change. True wisdom doesn't lie in avoiding the world, but in learning to navigate it with understanding, compassion, and balance. Over the years, life in all its complexity is a path of continuous learning. And above all, be wary of the cats you allow into your life, for they may lead you away from your true path. Mm -hmm.